Welcome everyone. We are here to talk about uh, from R to AWC. Um, I am Leo Balter. I am a senior product manager at Salesforce. Uh, working with AWC uh, teams from the AWC framework. And uh, let's discuss some of the uh, how we can get faster to uh, Lightning Web components. And before we jump in to sh show new features, uh, so sh uh, show some information, know that Salesforce is an open trading company, so please make a purchasing and investing decisions uh, based on the current available, generally, generally, excuse me, generally available products. Thank you. Okay, so the, the big question here is like, uh, why are we talking about LWC? AWC or Lightning Web Components is not only faster and modern, we are investing in, we're not investing in Aura anymore and we want you to migrate. So we want to support you for migrating uh, that. But before we dive in into the nitty gritty details, let's take a moment to, to understand what it means to get on the road for LWC adoption. Not only for me, but for you, like everyone for Salesforce and uh, all uh, our customers. In early, earlier this year, we ran, a, we ran a, a survey for LWC to understand like from you and to get information from you. What do you need? Why are you not migrating yet from Aura to LWC? Why there are still some people using Aura and how we get there? We want to understand things such as like, such as like what, is, what it means from you not adopting AWC yet and uh, what we can provide to improve your developer efficiency, uh, like adoption, seamless uh, development, uh, tooling that is also like good enough. And uh, one of the first things that uh, came in from the survey uh, take a look at that. We asked for, like, how much do you recommend Aura or LWC to your friends and colleagues? This is the Net Promoter Score, or NPS. If we just take a look at LWC, you see, like, yeah, good. It's like, it, it, it's in a good score. People are still recommending LWC. But if you go to Aura, I'm glad no one is really recommending uh, Aura to friends. Like, no one recommend, uh, no real friend recommends you Aura. So, and when we ask more, like, what is really blocking you? So you don't recommend that, but like, why are you still using Aura? Like, I know you don't recommend it, but like, why are you still using it? And as the crowd has been saying, like as the survey uh, results has been saying, it's feature parity. It's still things that, like, that you still want to go to AWC, but you still are stuck with some aura. You still need to do it every day. And uh, we tried also to capture from all of these, like, understand like exactly the part. So feature parity is the first one of them. It's a top response. And then we get like the return of investment, like how much you're gonna spend to be able to get there, or the tooling gaps that you have, the developer console support, uh, your company and team are actually not being able to do that, or you have time constraints. This actually matches a little bit with the return of investment. And uh, the experience, people still want to learn more about AWC. And uh, people cannot use desktop software right now, uh, or it's too complex. So yes, talking a, a lot of this, these are all fronts that we've been working at and how we improve it. And for the feature parity, like what exactly are the features that are the main pain points of you today that you really need in AWC? Not surprisingly, and being shown in the developer keynote and many other parts here at Dreamforce, um, dynamic components was the strongest one, like was this uh, most frequent response. People wanted dynamic components, people wanted workspace API. There are many features here that we see. Uh, there's like, this is a crowd, uh, this is people who responded to the LWC survey. 
these are the bridges that will connect you, your current R experience to AWC experience. So we need to invest in that. Not surprisingly, we also gather some data that we can to understand, like we map what is being used today in our, what we don't have today in AWC. We get a lot of information from True to the Core, ID Exchange, Trailblazer community, that's actually very important for us, voice of customer, and we even measure like LWC runtime usage, and we try to understand and map what is still being used there and how we get there. Not surprisingly, what we measure is, comes directly to what we have from your survey. Like you see dynamic components being the strongest one, Workspace API following it. We have some other things that we kind of like add in there, such as Refresh View API. Let's talk about, uh, about them a little bit. Look at, it, look at them when we merge them. Like when we merge these uh, together and then we merge by like the scores that we got, they got, we, we get them. Like we understand like, yes, I'm glad the data that I'm using is kind of matching what is coming in from the survey and how important it is to keep understanding, like getting this feedback from the customers, from, from you. So it's not a surprise for things that we are uh, releasing in Winter 24 are also matching this. Like we need to have cohesive releases. So like, let's see some of the things that we're releasing in uh, Winter 24. Well, we have dynamic components, GA in Winter 24. Uh, we have the Refresh View API, we have Toast Manager, we have Workspace API, it's in beta, but the only thing preventing you from fully using Workspace API, right now it's beta because it's available if you have a Liney Web Security on only. And it's GA in Spring 24, when you have it, uh, when you're gonna be able to have it with le uh, the le legacy Lightning Locker. And let's take a look at these features. Let's go a little bit deeper on them. So here we have uh, dynamic components. Dynamic components is a way for you to instantiate uh, your LWCs during runtime after you already loaded the page, uh, the, the page. So you can get multiple components being rendered when you want. Like, it's not only like when the page starts that you need to render everything. You, you can load things um, during runtime, you don't need to go on like many page reloads. Everything here is going to be dynamic. Um, and uh, all you need here is a special LWC column component that takes a con uh, constructor and you can make a, uh, we can use that to set what component will go in that place. I have an example here and uh, this example should run, but no, well, I, I can still have it running. Um, let's say in this example here, I have the AWC component with the constructor, as I mentioned, and you put it there, and that's the location we're gonna set for this component. In your JavaScript class, you're gonna be able to import the, uh, the, the other Lightning Web components you can import them like with standard JavaScript static import, but I, here I'm using dynamic imports as well. So I'm loading them during uh, runtime and I'm not blocking the, the first uh, page start. And uh, in, still in my JavaScript class, I set the constructor of the LWC to the component constructor. And that's what I have for my, uh, for my file. So in a case here where I have um, a component that is loaded on the data, uh, data table, I have my data table rendered here. And uh, in my case, I click on a tile view to show a different view, which is a different component. And I change the constructor. Um, the, LWC component doesn't show up there. What shows is the component that is rendering. Either the data table 
or my tile list, which will show a tile uh, view of which is uh, a different component being rendered. What is being rendered without any page reload. So there are many other places where we want to make uh, your application is still dynamic. Uh, Workspace API is a little bit there on like being easy to use without any page refresh again. So for Workspace API, once again, which is in beta for uh, Winter 24, you can control your Lightning Console apps in a way that you can create and open and remove and refresh your tabs and sub-tabs in the console apps without having to wrap a narrow component. Who has been there, like who is a developer and tried this before, have noticed like writing a, a, a wrapping on an Oracle component just to control that it was nonsense. Now you have finally um, LWC Workspace API. You can import this uh, method, the documentation is available. So you can import this module and you can get methods to open and enclose and to, uh, to control what sub-tab is visible. Um, in an example that I have here, I, oopsie, okay. Somehow my videos are not showing up. And uh, my videos are just saying like, oh, it is now. I tried to do this so I couldn't, I wouldn't need to do a live demo, but oh, it's working. So, okay, uh, here I have my Dreamhouse console app where I want to go on a, uh, my broker page, Jennifer Wu. And with Jennifer Wu, I'm using a, uh, li a Lightning console app and I want to click on some properties. And uh, with my properties here, uh, if I click on them, I want to open a sub tab. Okay, so I'm clicking here. I just open a new sub tab and I can go back to, to the other sub tab now and I can refresh this tab or I can uh, close it. I can set it as a workspace tab. I can go back to the other tabs that I have. I can open many sub tabs. A, technically, when we see it, it's a simple concept. But before this, we needed to, you needed to wrap a Aurora component. Now you get the same thing by, by just using LWC. Once again, I'm getting like the enclosing tab ID and open sub tab uh, from, the from the Lightning Platform Workspace API. I'm wiring the enclosed tab ID to connect to the current tab ID that I'm selecting. And uh, I also have a handle select method that I'm going to use uh, open sub tab. And with that, uh, I use my LWC methods directly to my LWC file. And uh, yes, so as I mentioned at sub tab, let's talk about the refresh view API. This is where uh, things too keep dynamic. We're talking about LWC, we're talking about uh, getting things dynamic and making sure you don't need to do a lot of page reload. I think one of the best things of using the Salesforce app, it's a, it's a web browser app, it's a web platform app. That's, that's what I love about LWC. With the Refresh View API, this like makes things make more sense. Let's say you're using the platform today and you want to go and change some record values and uh, you change the values there but you have many uh, LWCs there. You have a composition, like you use LWC as it should be used as module blocks, like composing blocks, building blocks. And uh, with this uh, Refresh View API now, we, you can just, if you have a record updated, you can dispatch a refresh event. And by dispatching a refresh event, you have your other components being updated as well. So you have everything synced, everything working. And uh, you see there, I'm using an ID exchange as I use for Workspace API. Um, what does it mean? Because we wanna make sure like how we look ahead, 
and show like how important it is to keep getting feedback from you. One of the things that I love, to be fairly honest, ID exchange. Bring your ideas, bring your pain points. Do you have any pain points? Bring it to us. We are talking about lining up experience performance. We, we need to make LWC faster. One of the best ways uh, to, do, to make LWC faster is fully migrating from Aura to LWC, which we are also doing internally. And we also want you to join us, like migrating from Aura to LWC. Uh, we still find things in IG Exchange that will help us uh, setting like what is next for us. So such a thing as a, the utility bar that will also uh, will get, get us like closing some of these feature gaps or, or such as lining, user all addressable, things we are uh, tackling next. You're gonna see in the next uh, releases when I come back here, I'm gonna be talking about these new features. Uh, okay, so most important, ID exchange is one part. We want you to continue being part of this journey as we gather our data, but we still want to get like your current feedback. So Trailblazer community, come and join us there ping me directly, like just use my name and, and say like, hey, I would love to see this in LWC, but I need to do Aura today because of that. Uh, how we get uh, over it, like how we go, like, and honestly, ping me, because that's what I use to prioritize my work. And uh, when we run more surveys, yes, uh, I love your answers. And uh, for all of this, this is all work that I want to do ahead for you to do code that I can actually help you all to boost your productivity, to minimize frustration when you're coding, uh, to increase your job satisfaction, and uh, you can have quick task uh, completions. And you can simplify repetitive work. Like, repetitive work is good, but like, it, it can be simplified always. And uh, you spend less time doing it. Uh, we're looking ahead, we're exploring new artists, um, and uh, once again, we can do it together. Here's a link, I can have documentation for everything that I presented. Uh, please join us, there are links to our Trailblazer community, there are trailheads that you can go on like uh, to easy or um, migration from Aura to LWC. I'd love to have you join in there. Um, and yes, and even our, doc, like our blog post, how we are actually working to tackle Lightning Experience performance. There is a big part there from Aura to LWC. And uh, if you have more questions and if you want to see live demos, I invite everyone, let's go to the Lightning Web Components booth. It's right there, just like a couple booths away from here. Um, and uh, thanks everyone. Thank you all for being part of this.